nanopore's technology enables the identification of a broad range of analytes, including DNA, RNA, microRNA, and proteins. At the heart of the technology is a protein nanopore. In nature, nanopores form holes in membranes. In Oxford Nanopore Systems, the nanopore is inserted into an electrically resistant membrane created from synthetic polymers. A potential is applied across the membrane, resulting in a current flowing only through the aperture of the nanopore. Single molecules that enter the nanopore cause characteristic disruptions in the current, as do larger target molecules, for example a protein molecule, which may pass near the opening of the nanopore rather than passing through it. By measuring that disruption, the molecule can be identified. For DNA sequencing, Oxford Nanopore uses a strand sequencing method, in which intact DNA strands are processed by the nanopores and analysed in real time. The nanopore sequences whatever fragments are presented to it, regardless of their length, rather than generating reads of a specific length. This is different from traditional cyclical sequencing chemistries that deliver a set of data at the end of a fixed runtime with fragments of a set length. The DNA strands to be sequenced are mixed with copies of a processive enzyme. As the DNA enzyme complexes approach the nanopore, the single-stranded DNA is pulled through the aperture of the nanopore. The enzyme, shown here in green, is designed to ratchet the DNA strand through the nanopore one base at a time. The enzyme binds to a single-stranded leader at the end of the double-stranded DNA template and unzips the double strand, feeding it through the nanopore. As the DNA moves through the pore, the combination of nucleotides called a kama within the narrowest part of the pore barrel creates a characteristic disruption in the electrical current. This information can be used to determine the order of the bases on that DNA strand. The speed of the enzyme can be controlled. The faster it runs, the more data is yielded per second. The strand sequencing method sequences an intact strand of DNA as it passes through the nanopore. Nanopores have processed read lengths of hundreds of kilobases, and when a nanopore has processed a complete read, it will start a new one. There is no deterioration of accuracy as the DNA strand is sequenced. By preparing the DNA so that it has a hairpin structure at the opposite end, the system can read both strands of the double-stranded DNA in one continuous read. This gives advantages in data analysis and improves the accuracy of the sequence produced. Nanopores start to stream data as soon as the experiment begins. This data is processed by the instrument control software and can be uploaded to Metricore, an on-demand cloud-based data analysis and bioinformatics platform. This allows the user to continue an experiment until sufficient data has been produced to determine the answer to the biological question, for example, the presence of a specific mutation. Once that event has been detected with the required level of confidence, the experiment is completed and the instrument can move on to another experiment or sample. The experiment is run until it is complete, rather than until an arbitrary instrument run has finished. This workflow is only possible with genuine real-time sequencing and not with cyclical chemistries that deliver full-length reads at the end of the run. The workflow described here is adaptable and is used to sequence a variety of molecules, including genomic DNA, amplified genomic DNA and PCR amplicons. Including first and second strand cDNA synthesis into the workflow allows RNA investigations to be carried out. For more information, please visit nanoportech.com.